Okay, so this is my little setup. I've got the uh, tilt sensor running between 0 and 12. Yeah, I'm going to tilt it up to 12 a little bit past. So that's set up, and um, you've got your 4 to 20 milliamp obviously scaling like that already. So you've, you've uh, done that point. Now, to get into the set points menu, press the data button, which is this one here, and press it again. Oops one more time, sorry, press the data button and then the middle button once, twice, third time to get into the set point menu, press the data button and then you can toggle now with the middle button once you've gotten to this set point menu, one or two. So I'm going to talk about set point one. Um, now pressing the data button once shows you whether it's on, the middle button changes the value, so we've got that on. Now. I've got this uh, actually scaled to a decimal point, uh, so you can actually see it approaching the, the value of um, uh, 12 and or 8 or 10, which we've set. So the middle button scrolls to the value that you want to change. So you can, and the button furthest on the left-hand side, the tear button, changes the value. So you can just cycle through that. So that's back to zero. Okay, you press the data button again and it goes to net and then high. So this is the value. Do you want the actual um, relay to go high or low? So changing the value here changes that with the middle button and then the data button um, gets you to the next menu which is the delay for it and how many milliseconds delay you want. I've put zero and then channel number. Um, that's irrelevant to what we're doing. And then press that data button again. So essentially it's the data button that allows you to scroll through the menus. The middle button changes the sub menu and the tear button the value sometimes depending on which menu you're in. So I've set that set point to be 8 so as that comes in you can see set point 1 which is the top one has turned on and at 8 it turns off. So on and off around 8. Okay. Now what I've done with the second button, I mean the second set point, so back into program, center button again to find the set point and then center button so in data now set, set point 2 and I'll go through the same thing I've got it turned on at 9.99 so as you can see there and I've got it switching low so it's actually the inverse of what, I've, um, what, I'm, what I'm doing normally so there you go and then store so basically all I've done with that setup is when it's below 8, set point 2 is on. And notice set point 2 will actually turn off at 10. So while it is in between the range of 10 and 8, both are on. But then see that's indicating you're low, below it. So you're within range, now you're above it. So set point 2 turns off at 10. So there you go, that's how I've set it up. Any questions, give me a yell.